I wanted, I always wanted to be a jockey since I was a kid, but I was kind of um, a little bit sheltered and I didn't even know that there was much racing besides, you know, the big races, the right. Kentucky Derby and the Belmont State, you know, everything like that. So I really didn't know about it, but um, a few years ago I kind of fell into it. I had a, a race horse of my own that we ran at the fair meets over there in uh -huh. Idaho. And I started by galloping him. Mm -hmm. um, like five weeks I galloped him and you know, then I had a couple years that I didn't do anything with him. And then I yeah. started again with another thoroughbred. And um, one day one of the trainers I was working for just said, hey, you know, we could probably get you licensed to ride. Yeah. And I always wanted to, so yeah. we did some gate work and one thing led to another. Yeah, I got licensed and started riding. <laughs> now, can you imagine doing anything else? I mean, most jockeys have a passion for it. What do you, I mean, is it great when you're up there on a the horse? I don't want to do anything else. Um, when I came here, I'd ridden maybe 20 races. I just started out in Wyoming and rode some of the bush tracks. I had two wins. And um, so I was just barely getting started. Brand, brand new, didn't really know much. Um, it was a good experience. It just uh, wasn't the right time for me to get started. I took some time off and then came back. Um, so that was in 2015 mm -hmm. in the fall. And I left and kind of took some time off and then started back up in the spring mm -hmm. on my quarter horses in Idaho. Mm. <laughs> wow, you have experience with both breeds then, huh? I actually started on the quarter horses. Good. So I've been here at like six wins on them. I haven't rode a yeah. bunch of them, but my first win was my fourth race. It was on a quarter horse. So, um... But yeah, I, I um, rode Wyoming and then uh, I went to Turf Paradise last fall. Mm -hmm. And rode the winter. You had a great meet. meet over there, didn't you? I did pretty good. Yeah. It was a little tough getting started. There's, you know, a lot of jocks there, and I was brand new and pretty green and still yeah. needed to learn. <laughs> um, but it was a good meet. I ended up winning 18 races there and got the leading apprentice. Mm -hmm. And then uh, left there and came to, went up to Shreveport and rode Louisiana Downs. Got the leading apprentice there and ended up second in the standings. That's I'm riding some races here right now and going back and forth between here and New Orleans. And okay, you'll do that all winter? Um, yeah, I'll probably ride a little bit less over here, um, but if there's if there's a day I can ride here, if they're not running there, then I'm going to be here. Did your meet at Louisiana Downs really get your foot in the door with Louisiana Horsemen? Is that why you're staying the winter at fairgrounds in here? Yes, it did. I've got some real good business, both, both tracks here and over at New Orleans. Okay. So. It can be a little bit taxing sometimes just because the schedule is a little bit complicated. Um, I'm very fortunate. I have a, an ex-husband who understands it for the most part. You know, we get along for the most part. And so we kind of work our schedule around my schedule. Um, so I do have them in the summers and whenever I can have them for the spring breaks and stuff like that. Um, but it can be pretty tough. It's, it's the hardest part is being away from them. Uh, the biggest thing I want to do is continue to learn, to continue to improve, you know, get a better clock. I have a pretty decent clock, mm -hmm. but um, I want to improve on that. I want to improve on my form. I want to get stronger. So the, the biggest goal for both of these meets, being at both of these tracks, is to learn from these riders. And we have a pretty good colony here, don't we? Yes. Yeah, I see you and they're joking around with them. You guys have a great time together, don't <laughs> yes. you? Yes. And they're pretty good about mentoring and teaching you guys stuff, Yeah, right? most of them are really good about that. Yeah. Well, I mean, the ultimate goal for every jockey is to get to the Kentucky Derby, right. you know, and I would be, I mean, ecstatic if I ever made it that far. Yeah. Um, I, I just, I just want to, I just want to ride. Yeah. But you um, I have a really, I, I can get a horse to relax pretty well. I've done a really good job of that. I have a very good sense of pace. And when it comes to the lane drive, I am an aggressive rider. 
So I have a little bit of a mix between being able to finesse a horse, but when it comes down to it, I can push them through a hole, I can get aggressive, I can whip them hard if I need to, you know, I can push them hard if I need to. What's your favorite color? Ooh, pink. Pink, okay. Hot pink? You like that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I see it in your hair. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite food? Pizza. Pizza. They all say pizza Pizza's for some the reason. Best. You're in Louisiana. You learned... love carbs. You got to try car... Car... crawfish down here, though. I had crawfish and I do like it, but the yellow stuff creeps yeah, me out. Yeah, it kind of creeps you out. I know. You'll get used to it. I've been here 14 years and I like it now. So. Yeah. Um, one week, all paid vacation anywhere in the world. Where do you go? I go to Hawaii. Hawaii. Yep. Lay on the beach? Yep. Take your kids with you? Yep. Have a good time? Yep. Well, that's great. Well, thanks for spending some time with us. Good luck this season. Stay safe. Thanks, Don.